Okay, so we're at a stubble cross enduro event by Edge Off Road up near North Allerton. Something a little bit different to me, obviously, as you know, I'm used to motocross, so I'm going to be doing a couple of enduros through the winter just to get them uh, fitness up and bike skill. So you will see a couple more of these videos. We're just listening to the uh, track briefing now, and then we're going to warm up them engines and get the ball rolling. We are on the first row as you can see, so we're in the Premier class, I think there's about 10 of us. And then behind us there's another sort of 200 riders in certain categories. Bikes are warmed up now, we're just waiting for this green flag to get up. And as soon as that green flag drops, we can start our engines and set off. Jack Spencer there with a flyer gets off to the front. We're in about fourth. Trying to sweep round the outside here. Settling to third. Now I really want to try and get to the front here on this first flat field because it does go into some uh, twisty one line ruts so if we can try and get away. I know there's a couple of fast enduro riders in this race that are behind me at the moment so if we can try and gap them early on that'll put us in the best situation possible so Jack gets a little wobble on there, we managed to squeeze around the inside, puts us into second try and go around the outside of this rider but just on the loose dirt there, struggled to get the power down set him up again on this turn and there we are, we're into the lead so we've got a clear track ahead of us it's time to get that hammer down and see what we can do let him eat dust We're just finishing off this first field now, we're still in the lead and we're coming into this first wooded section, really fun section here, across this little bridge. Some real good little ruts in here. back out onto some open stubble field but this part of the track hasn't been used since it's been graded so you can see it's real loose and bobbly and obviously I'm the first to hit this track so just trying to not go too silly and crash obviously next lap the track is going to be very different just trying to check on who's behind me because obviously I'm not used to racing with these guys don't really know who's capable of what. So definitely kind of just testing the water here. So this race is two and a half hours long. And obviously I'm used to sort of 15, 20 minute blasts and I think this is an average of about 15 minute lap for me so that's nearly a race in one lap. So very different style. Coming back into another wooded section here. Really sunny today so the shadows were very off-putting, hard to see your line. Obviously, being a stubble field, everyone says it's perfect for motocross riders, but it's still not motocross. I mean, it's un, you know, it's unprepped. It's got woods. It's flat. You know, we're used to bumps, graded tracks, jumps, all that kind of thing. So, even though it's fast and flowing, it's not extreme. It does suit me, but 
it's still not motocross, it's completely different. So as you can see we're on to lap 2 now, and uh, the loose bits have already started forming berms, so I'm thinking, oh yes, here we go, let's get motocross mode, let's bash some berms. I think we're on the second or third lap here. It's Joe Deakin behind me. And obviously I've never raced with him before, so not quite sure of his speed and stuff, but I'm pushing here and he's keeping up with me, so it's gonna be interesting. trying to obviously keep my breathing going, keep taking some drinks of my uh, camel back and stay hydrated and hopefully we can last two and a half hours, you know, my body's not fully used to this yet. So we're on lap three or four here and this is where it starts to get very interesting, obviously we got to the back markers so this is where it can make or break your race really. See, I've got Joe kind of 10 seconds behind me, so I am yo, yo, yo! I am doing a bit of shouting there just to try and let him know I'm coming past. The faster I can get past the uh, back markers, obviously, the more chance I've got of keeping that gap on Joe. If you hear someone shouting yo yo yo, probably me coming past. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a bad way, just mean when you can just sort of just move over and go slightly slower on a safe section so I can come past without any danger, you know. I don't want to be taking you out and I don't want to be squaring you up and knocking you off, you know. <laughs> On the back section of the track here, loving these berms, absolutely ripping. Still in the lead. Got some more back markers coming up here. Onto this fast back straight, and I think I'll just power down the outside and out braking. But I think he gets a little bit giddy here and struggle to stop a little bit there. But that's enduro. I love it. Checking there on Joe, still got that sort of six, seven seconds gap on him. I think we're about 50 minutes in right now. But I know he's used to obviously doing sort of two and a half, three hour races, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be hard to hold him off. Put it that way. Again, coming into these woods, you can see the shadows just very off-putting. And then obviously later on, the dust starts coming up and you get this hazy dust effect in the trees, so you have to be careful through these sections. So we're just coming past the lap scoring section now. You can see the tape, there's the pit. Just coming through to take another lap. We get the thumbs up, so we're good to go. Well, I 
I'll let that 300 rip. Yo, yo, yo! So there we go, he looks behind, he sees me, lets me pass. That's ideal. Love this little jump in the woods here, styling it out. If anyone knows who the cameraman were in there, you know, I don't really know none of these cameramen, so if you can point me in that right direction, that'd be great. Some of these wood sections were just great to ride, just flowing and fast. Just gotta watch the little tree stumps not catch your front wheel. So we've got a couple of back markers in a row here. Obviously they're racing each other so sometimes it's hard to get past because they think you're part of the, the race. So we're trying to uh, square this guy up here, I don't shout at him too much because I don't want to put him off. Thought I'll just pass him down this straight and he gives it beans, look at him go. I'm not sure if he managed to stop there but <laughs> he was letting it hang out, fair play to that guy. So we're back in these woods now, uh, we're about an hour and f seven or eight minutes in I'd say. And we're just coming up on some back markers, we're still leading by about ten seconds. Uh, and I shout at this guy in front just to try and let him know I'm coming, see if he'll sort of slightly move over and let me sneak past. Yo, yo, yo! So you see he turns around there and he sees me, knows I'm there, so I think over this jump he'll just slow down and let me through, but... Yeah, that didn't happen. We ended up colliding and GoPro goes flying. Bit of a nightmare. Cheers. But we clip the GoPro back on for you guys. Jump back on. And away we go. So Joe's gone past me now. We've dropped into second. We're on the floor there for about 30 seconds or so. A couple of grazers on the hand, but we're all good. So yeah, Joe's in the lead now. Just going to try and... Keep a steady head. We're having a quick pit stop now, we're about an hour and 15, hour and 20 into the race, so we're about halfway. Have you swapped your goggles? No. Right, quick goggle swap, fuel up. Be alright. Let's get back out there. Thumbs up. Love opening this uh, 300 TPI up on these straights, absolute animal. Yo! 
Find a little sneaky line here and sneak past this uh, back marker. You can see the dust now, it's just uh, starting to get, to get pretty bad. We've got another sort of hour left of the race and uh, it's going to get hard to see later on in this, this race, I think. So we're coming into this uh, sort of longest wood section, probably one of my favourite parts of this loop. Some real good little flowing technical bits and some good berms. Like I said earlier, there were some little tree stumps just sticking out in places and if you just caught your front wheel on one of them, I had a few big moments. No! Right of there, just kindly letting me pass. Yeah, we're currently in second. I think Jack Spence is in third at the moment behind me. I think we've got a couple of minutes lead on him. And I think Joe's got... There's about 20-30 seconds in the lead now, so... He's slightly gained on me, but we'll still keep pushing. So what we can do, you know, one little crash, we're back up there. Does get really bad now, and actually, unfortunately, we don't get it on camera. But the GoPro dies at about sort of one and a half hour mark of this race. But my bike actually seized up; it nipped up uh, with one lap to go when I was currently in second, and I only had another steady lap to do. Unfortunately, dust got caked that bad on the filter, and me being me. You know, motocross style bashing all them berms and this 300 being so powerful ended up sucking a bit of dust through the filter so it's unlucky but we'll learn we'll get some filter skins for next time it's dusty maybe try the new funnel web filters something like that obviously I'm used to 20 minutes in the dust so you just after every race change your filter no problem but we've been two and a half hours out here eating dust yeah it's something I didn't ex exactly think about you know but anyway back to the race love this fast section down the back here just flying down these straights hard on the brakes for these turns I like how natural the tracks are you know they're pretty old school Bit like old school motocross sort of style you know no one mourns you ride what you're given and you go out and race As I said earlier, obviously my bike packs in, so we end up with a DNF, and I think Jane Daniels actually gets into second, so fair play to Jane, I mean, that's some going in this class, you know, there's some good riders up there, so Joe Deacon obviously won, and then Jane got into second, and then Jack Spencer in third. But yeah, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe, there'll be more like this coming up.
plenty of motocross enduro and even trials videos. Remember to keep bashing them berms. I'll see you out on track. Thank <laughs> you.